Hey, our friends, we're gonna draw another character from Teen Titans Go, right, Chuckers? Yeah! Who are we drawing this time? Starfire! Chuckers, you got your marker? Yeah! We hope you guys got your markers. You're gonna follow along with us. If you go too fast, what can they do? Pause the video! Yes, you can always pause the video and then match what we do. All right, checkers, we're gonna start with our paper horizontal. No, oh. vertical. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna do it vertical because she's tall. We're gonna draw her whole body. We're gonna draw her head at the top and then her body towards the bottom. All right, so we're gonna start with her eyes and we're gonna do her eyebrows first. And we're gonna be up here at the close to the top. We wanna leave some room up here because we are gonna do her hair and her forehead. So we're gonna do two little, uh, they're kind of upside down V's, like this. So do one here, like that. And then we're gonna do another one. We're gonna do a little space and then we'll do another V right next to it. Good job. Okay, and then I, I have my eyes a little bit closer, but that's okay. We're gonna practice, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're gonna make her eyebrows a little thicker. So we'll do another one on top of the first curve that we did, and then another one on the second curve that we did. So our eyebrows are a little thicker, and then we're gonna color them in. We're doing her, eyeball, her eyebrows first because, or her eyelashes first, actually. Her eyebrows are up a little higher because this is gonna help with the spacing of her eyes. Okay. Good job, dude. Okay, now we're gonna draw the little lines underneath her eyes and we're gonna come over here. So we're gonna leave a little space and then right below this corner, right below this corner, inside corner, we're gonna do a little, it's almost like a check mark. It's gonna come up a little higher towards. Smiley face. Yeah, like kind of like a little smiley face. And then we're gonna do the same on this side. Go right below that corner and then do a little U shape for eyes. And these eyes kind of remind me a lot of uh, Beast Boy's eyes. <laughs> okay, and then do the other one. Good job, that's perfect. Okay, now right here to the left, inside of her eye, we're gonna do the oval or the pupil of her eye, just like that. Good, and we're not gonna do the green circle around it. We're gonna use our colored pencils for that. Okay, now we're gonna draw the pupil on this side, and we'll do an oval about the same size as the first one, just like that. Good job, all right. Okay, now let's do her, her eyelashes. Let's finish her eyelashes. We'll do a curl that comes out, and it's kinda, we'll do the other part too. So the little V, curved V and then we'll connect it at the top and then color it in. Then we'll do one more curved V. This one's gonna be a little smaller right next to it. Connect it at the top and then color that one in too. Good. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna do the other side. We'll do the same thing, curved V, connect it at the top and then color it in. And then we'll do a smaller one right next to it. So if this is where we're going too fast, they can pause the video, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good job, that looks perfect. Okay, now let's go up. We're gonna run out of a little bit of room up here, I think, but we'll try and fit it in. We're gonna do her, the, the top of her hair, okay? So we're gonna come up here right in the middle. So right in between her eyes, we'll come up here. We're gonna put a little point right there. And that's where we're gonna start her hair. So we'll do a little V, both sides. Then we're gonna curve this around so we can do the first part of her hair. Good, and then we're gonna come back up. And then in, and we're gonna come really close to that first point where we started. We're gonna barely get her hair in there, huh? Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna curve back around on this side. And get pretty close to her eyelash over here. Good, and then we're gonna curve back up. We're not gonna go all the way, we're just gonna stop part of the way. And then we're gonna come back down and we're gonna curve up, over, and then back to that point. 
There we go. Her hair's done. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> she needs a little more than that, don't you? <laughs> okay, so, no, she's got these really teeny eyebrows. They kind of look like raindrops right here inside of her hair. Like that, okay? And then we'll do another one on this side, too. <laughs> Little sideways raindrop. <laughs> we need to make her look a little prettier, don't you? <laughs> so let's get her teeny little nose. So it's a little upside down V or U shape. Good, and then we're gonna come right below her nose and we're gonna do her smile, okay? So here we go, like that. Good job, and I kinda like how this the right side of her smile is a little higher. Okay, now let's do her, her face. We'll come down here, we're gonna put a point down here and this is gonna be for her chin. Okay, we'll put a little point right below her nose. And leave a little space right there so we can, there we go. Okay, now we're gonna start up here, halfway kind of down her hair, and we're gonna come through her eyelashes, give her a little cheek right here, and then into this point, okay? Okay. Here we go. And right into that point. Good. And then curve into the point. Good job. Okay, now we can finish. We can come back over here, and let's do this side of her head. And it's going to come down into her, she's got really long kind of piece of hair that comes in front of her ear. And it's an S line. So we're going to curve out, come through her eyelashes, and we're going to curve back. And then we're going to curve back again like that. And we don't want to come too far down. We're almost maybe the same distance here between her mouth and her chin. And we'll come down here. So let me we'll put a little, okay. yeah, that, that's okay. We'll come down here and maybe right about there is where you're at, you'll end. Good job. Okay, now let's finish her chin going into her hair right here like that. Good job, checkers. Okay, now let's come back over here and we'll finish her hair, okay? So we're gonna come up, down here we'll come up, curve up, and then do a little one down. Then we're gonna come back over here where her, right below her, her eyelash, and we're gonna start the last part of her hair. And this is gonna be a little S line too. So we'll come down and then into that little curve. Good job. Okay, now let's finish her ear. So we'll come right here, curve out, and then back in for her ear. Looks like um like a leaf yeah. or an elf. Uh, she kind of looks like yeah. an elf ear, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's. We're gonna finish the rest of her hair after we draw her body because her hair is behind her body, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's draw the other piece of her hair that's on this side of her head, okay? okay. So we'll do a little curve that comes out. Then we're gonna do that same little curve that came back in that, that we did over here. And then we're gonna do a bigger curve that comes down. Then we're gonna come back up and we'll do a little S curve that kinda comes down and then back in. Nice job, Kate. Now let's start her body, all right? Okay. Okay, we're going to do two little lines right below her, the eye over here, her right side eye. We're going to just do two little lines that come out for her neck. Okay, good. And then we're going to draw the top of her shirt or her collar. So we'll do a little curve that connects the two neckline. Then we're going to draw almost a J shape and then a backwards J on this side. Okay, and then we'll do a little line on the left J. Good, and then another little line below that goes horizontal, and then we're gonna connect that into the backwards J. 
So that's a little shape. Then we're going to put a little design right here. We can kind of color in part of it, but leave a little light reflecting. Good. And then we're going to connect that little line there and a little line going over her shoulder. So this, this is where her shoulder is going to come out or her arm is going to come out. Good job, dude. Okay, now we'll draw a little curve. This is for the rest of her shirt. A little curve for the, the front. Good. Okay, now let's draw her first arm. And we're going to draw the inside line that comes down. We don't want it to be too far because we need room for the rest of her legs. Her legs are really tall. Okay, and then we'll come back and we're going to start really close to this line. And then we're going to get really far apart. Kind of get wider as we come down. I had to thicken that up a little bit. Sorry. There we go. Okay, now we're going to draw her glove. So we draw a small little line at the end of this line. The end of the outside line. Okay, and then we'll curve down to connect to the other line. Good. Now let's draw a big curved line on the outside. Okay, now let's draw an, the inside line of her glove, and that's shorter than this line. Okay, and then we can do another curve. So you see this curve? Mm -hmm. We're going to do another curve kind of like that one, and then we're going to connect it. So it almost looks like the other side. You see that? Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay, I like yours. We're going to probably extend yours because we're going to have her legs passed. It's okay. going to look super awesome. Okay, now let's draw the design on our glove. It's a little oval. And then we can color in part of that and then leave a little white spot. And then there's a design on our glove that matches that curve and comes in like that. Good job. Now let's draw our hand. We'll draw a little kind of curve V for a thumb. And then we'll draw a longer line coming back from the thumb and then we can draw our little fingers just coming back up like this and finish I just drew let's see one two three four lines so we have five fingers right mm -hmm. four fingers and a fifth thumb <laughs> Did you get it? Good job, man. That looks awesome. All right, okay, now let's let's come back up here and we'll finish her body, okay? So we're going to draw, coming out of her arm, we're going to draw a little uh, curve or S line that kind of comes out from her arm and then back into her glove. So this is going to make her dress down here at the bottom. Good, and then let's finish the front of her body. So this is going to curve down and then out, and we're going to come down about halfway through her glove. Perfect. All right, so now we're gonna finish the bottom of her dress. We're gonna do a little S line that goes into her glove. So halfway through her, her I don't even know if that's really a glove, kind of her bracelet. All right, good job. Now let's draw her, her belt. So we'll come back up where the lines come together at her waist. Actually, let's draw the bottom of her shirt first. We'll draw a little curve line right there. So right where it starts curving in, we'll draw a little curve. Good. And then we're going to come down a little bit, and then we'll put an oval. Belly this is button. for, yeah, <laughs> big belly button. That's for a belt, silly. <laughs> then, we do, then we'll do two lines connecting out the right side and also the left side for the rest of her belt. Good job, dude. That looks awesome. Okay. All right, now let's draw her other arm, and we're drawing this after we draw her body because her, this arm is behind her body. So we're gonna do a little 3D, 3D drawing here. So we draw a little line that comes down, and we want this to end about the same distance as where her other glove ends. Good, that's perfect. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing that we did on this side. We'll do a little straight line at the end of that line, end of her arm line. Okay, so we got that little line. We're going to connect that into her dress with that curve. So it's very similar to the other glove. See how there's a curve right here? Mm -hmm. We're drawing that curve on this side. 
Now we're going to draw the outside line. We're going to draw it on this side now. So come over here and we want it to end about the same distance. Good. You can probably come a little further down. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing, a little flat at the bottom of that line. Then we're going to curve up and then we'll go finish kind of back into her dress. Good, that looks awesome. Okay, and then we'll do that little oval that we have on this side. Draw it on this side towards the left edge. Color it in. Good, and then we'll draw this little detail that's on her glove. All right, now let's finish her hand, okay? We'll do the same thing. We'll draw a little V, curved V that comes out of the bottom of that bracelet shape. And then we'll curve a longer line down for her finger. Okay, and then we'll come back up and we'll make those little finger lines. One, two, I don't know if I'm gonna fit all three of them. I'm just gonna do three. You mean all four of them? Yeah, all four of them. So the other finger could be hiding behind since we're drawing 3D, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, we got it. So let's tape on, let's extend your paper and then you can finish her legs. Okay. All right, checkers, we got it extended. And all we did for our friends at home, if they have the same, the same issue and they need to extend their paper too, is just get an extra sheet of paper and then get some tape and then uh, move it down and then tape it on there so it'll stay, it won't move around. And there you go. We got some extra paper down here for so that you have room to draw our legs. Okay. Ready to keep going? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. All right, so we're going to draw really long legs, okay? okay. We're going to start in the middle. We're going to draw, this is going to curve out because she's got her, her uh, boots or legs, let's see, her shoes, all the way down here. So we kind of curve almost out like we're drawing a dress. Good job. That's a long that is awesome. Okay, now we're gonna draw her other leg and the, out, the outside line of her other leg. So we're gonna come over here all the way to the edge, curve out just like we did on that first one, but out the other direction. Good job. Okay, now the two lines that we're gonna draw in between to split, to divide her legs, we're gonna draw them almost parallel to each other, okay? We're gonna start in the middle, come down, we're gonna kind of curve, and then I'm going to leave a little space and come next to it and then draw the other leg just like that. Good job. Awesome, dude. Okay, now what we're going to draw is the bottom of her shoe shoes and we're going to connect those two lines with a curved line down at the bottom. And I like turning my paper so I can draw it a little easier. Good job. Okay, now let's draw the top of her boots and they're going to be two little lines up here towards the top right next to each other. And we're going to draw two little lines on the other side too. We can draw those together. Awesome. Okay, now we'll come down and we'll draw the little detail at the bottom of her shoes, like that. And then we'll do the same on this side. Nice. Good job, dude. Okay, we are missing her hair, huh? Yeah. Yeah, she doesn't quite look like Starfire until we get all of her hair in there. And it comes all the way down almost to the bottom of her of her legs. So we're going to start on this side. We'll connect over here. We're going to draw a big curve line that comes out through and into her legs. Good job, dude. I love how tall you drew her. Okay, and then we're going to we're going to imagine that line coming through her legs and then you can see the little line in between right here. And then we're going to continue that out this side of her legs. And we're going to start curling up a little. Okay, now we're going to draw the back part of her hair. We're going to come around and then we're going to finish. Let's put a point. So we're going to imagine this finishing over here. We're going to put a point 
out here, okay? There we go, perfect. Now that's where we're gonna draw this line and end right there. Okay. So we're gonna have a little line, comes out the top of her head. Now this is gonna be a big giant S line, ready? Yeah. Here we go. And come down and come all the way down and then we're gonna curl into that point. You know what, and I missed it so I'm gonna curl a little bit above it like this, but I'm gonna come hit that point with the line that comes back. Okay, so come, out, come around and do a little hook at the end. That might have been a bit too far. <laughs> That's all right, keep going. Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. <laughs> and then hook. hook. Good job, you did it. Okay, now this is where I'm gonna come get that point again. I'm gonna curl, we're gonna curl back in like that, and then back out. It's a little curved V. Good job. Okay, so we're gonna have a. We're gonna be a little creative in there to try and make that connect. So here we go, watch this. I should probably finish this and then you can see how it ends. And we're gonna connect like this and then back in. And there's her hair. So what we can do is just come back in like this and then connect in. There we go. That works, <laughs> dude. I like it. It works totally fine. And we can practice, right? Yeah. And so the point is we should do this again and then we'll do it better the next time, right? Mm -hmm. All right, dude. Well, we're missing one important thing. What is it? Uh... The color. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pick out our colors and then we'll, we'll finish her. Okay. All right, checkers. We got our colors all picked out. I said we were going to use colored pencils, but let's use oil pastels instead. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we got a couple greens. We got a really bright green. This is a yellow green. This is called a pale green. So this is going to be for her iris or around her pupil. This is going to be for her eye color. And then we also have a, uh, this is like a pink color. This is a rose matter color. And we're going to use that for her hair. And then this we're going to use for her skin tone. And this is called salmon pink. And then we also have purple for her costume, right? Mm -hmm. And I can't read that. It says hyacinth violet. And then this one is a light blue or a pale blue. And then we also have white that we're gonna use for the reflection in her eye. Okay, you ready to start? Yeah. So we're using, we are using oil pastels from Pentel. We're using it in this set and we'll leave a link in the description so our friends can find them on Amazon and purchase them. Okay, we're gonna use the green first, really bright green. And actually, let's use the white and we're gonna put a little reflection in her eye first, okay? We'll put a little oval shape that goes over the, the uh, marker that we just colored in there for her pupil. And that's gonna make it look like it's shiny, huh? Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna use the green and we're gonna do a little circle that goes around her pupil. And this would be a little tricky, but we just go around carefully. So we can get the, the color in her eye. Perfect, okay, now let's get that light green or the pale green. And one more thing is, our, even though we're using these special colors and we said the names of them, our art friends can just pick out colors, even colored pencils, that kind of match the colors that we're using and it will work just fine, right? Mm -hmm. So we only call out the colors in case they want to use the exact same colors. So we're gonna color in her, the rest of her eye. A lot of eyes are, they're just white, but hers are green, huh? Light green. Yeah, because she shoots lasers out. Yeah, eyes. she gets really mad sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're gonna fill it in and we're just connecting on the edges where we didn't draw with the marker. And then after this, let's color in her face and the rest of her skin tones, okay? Okay. All right, checkers, nice job on coloring in all of her skin tones. You missed her neck, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got to make sure her neck's in there. Okay, you ready for the next part? Yeah. Let's do her costume next, okay? So we're going to draw, um, you, know, you know what? I missed a part, too. Her belly's showing. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you missed it, too. All right, okay, now we're going to use the purple, and we're going to color her, her costume or outfit. 
and we're gonna draw. We're gonna color in the bottom part. We're gonna I color in. Purple. Oh, you better get it. Perfect. You did awesome. Okay, we used the light blue to finish her costume, and you could probably use a gray for that too. But we just use the light blue. All right, checkers, you got your pink? Yeah. We're going to do a ton of coloring, so you may want to loosen up those fingers. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. All right, let's finish her up. Cheers! Good job, man. Give me five. You did super awesome. Are your hands a little sore? Yeah. <laughs> that was a lot of pink, but we got through, huh? Mm -hmm. She looks awesome. And we only have one more character to do on, on Teen Titans, huh? Yeah. Who is it? Cyborg. Yes, he's going to be awesome. All right, well, she was a little tricky, her body, huh? Mm -hmm. But if our art friends, if you guys got stuck doing this part, you guys can rem remember to pause it and try and match what we did. You can slow it down that way if we go too fast. All right, dude, should we say goodbye to our friends? Yeah. All right, see you later, our friends. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.